ratios. We have a thing here and it's 720 by 540. Part A, write down the ratio of the width of the, to the height in its simplest form. Okay, the width is 720, the height is 540. It's a bit like simplifying a fraction. The fraction is a ratio of the top to the bottom. This is a ratio of that to that. So, well, I see a zero on the end of both of them, so we can divide both of them by 10, knock off that zero. We just get 72 to 54. What, what, what can we do next? Um, well, they're both even, so, how about we divide both of them by two? 36 to half of 50 is 25, so half of 54 is 27. Okay, that's even, but that's odd. So we can't divide by two, can we divide by three? Yes, we can. Three into 36 goes 12, three into 27 goes nine. Even odd, can't divide by two, but they are divisible by three four and three. And there we go. That's the simplest ratio of the width to the height. Now, this is a calculator paper. So, it might be tempting, and you can try this if you want, to simply divide 720 by 540. Put that in the calculator and see what you get. Well, you get, if you do 720, divided by 540, which is of course four divided by three, you get 1.333, 1 1.3 recurring. Now, you see that in the exam, is that very helpful? Can you go from 1.3 recurring to four to three, which is the answer you have to give? Not, not quickly, so, you can do that if you want, because you might get something nice. You might get something like, I don't know, 1.5. If you got 1.5, whatever numbers they give you in the exam, then, well, can you see that 1.5 is three divided by two? So you could go straight from there to the answer, but it's likely that they're not gonna make it easy for you. They're gonna give you two numbers in an exam which when you divide one by the other, it's going to be some ugly decimal. It's not easy to go from there to there. So get used to doing it this way. It's not that difficult, is it? Anyway, moving on. Part B. This thing is going to be changed. The dimensions are going to be changed from four to three to three to two and the width is going to remain at 720. So that's the same, and the width is going to be decreased. So that can go. And we have to find the new width. Got that? Three to two, and it's going to be 720 to something, because the width is still 720. So we have to find that. So it's a classic ratio scaling problem which means that whatever that three has been multiplied by to get 720, we have to multiply the two by the same scaling factor, and that would be our answer. So let's find the scaling factor. What do we have to multiply three by to get 720? Well, in other words, what's 720 divided by three? This is a calculator paper. So if you want, you can reach for that safety comfort blanket of the calculator and do that, but it's, it just feels wrong to, <laughs> to, to do that because it's such a simple division. It's healthy to do the division, old fashioned style. So three into 720. Three into seven goes twice, remainder one. Three into 12 goes four times. Three to zero goes zero. 240, there you go. 
720 divided by 3 is 240. So our scaling factor is 240. So we have to multiply 2 by the same scaling factor. 2 times 240 is 480. That's the answer.